It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl, the science quiz program here in the Prince George's schools. We hope you play along today and test your own science IQs. Let's meet today's teams. First, from Dwight Eisenhower Middle School, would you please say hello to Kevin Duru, Abdullah Drame, and Emmy Wadero. And from Greenbelt Middle School, here they are. Say hello to Noah Riggs, Riley Commissar Burry, and Nuzat Zaheen. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with the easier questions on the left. They're worth five and 10 points. The tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. And to the two rounds today, one of these talented, good-looking teams will come back to play again for the chance to become the fourth and last of the final four in this year's middle school competition. Let's make sure everything works properly before we start. Abdullah, would you please try that buzzer? The red team looks like it's ready and raring to go. Good luck to you, to Kevin and to Emmy. And how about that green team, Riley? All right, she's giving it a good push. Looks and sounds good. Good luck to you, to Nuzat and to Noah. All right, congratulations on being here representing your schools. You've won already just by being ambassadors. Let's, let's have a good game. We go alphabetically D before G, so Abdullah and Eisenhower, let's play. Zoo Parade for 15. Zoo Parade for 15 points is a multiple choice question. Teams, in the movie Finding Dory, Mr. Ray starts singing about Echinodermata, Gastropoda, Arthropoda. Of those three, which one is the starfish? Which one is the starfish? All right, Riley. The first one? The first one, the uh, Echinodermata? Absolutely right. That's, those are the starfish. The gastropods are the snails, and the arthropods are things like the mantis shrimp. All right, go again, green. Mantis shrimp. Um, green things for 10? Green things for 10 points. Teams, these flat, grassy plains with tall grasses have what same name as the little dogs that build cities underneath them. Green belt. Prairie? prairie dogs, and that is a prairie. Prairie home companion, little house on the prairie. Yeah, go again. Green. Um, body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, Thomas Edison, the inventor, famously said that the main function of our bodies is to hold up this organ that contains the cerebellum and the medulla. Green belt. Brain. The brain, yeah. All this is just to keep that brain up there. Without it, that, we're nothing. Go green. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points is a visual question. Everybody, please look at the monitor in the studio, if you would. You're going to see an articulated bus. You can see that accordion in the middle of it there. It's called an articulated bus because, like arthropods, it is combined, it is connected by these. Green belt. Fibers? fibers? Not fibers, no. It is called an articulated bus, guys, because like arthropods, it is connected by these. Joints. Joints. Arthropods are jointed appendages. That's why they're arthropods, so there are joints there. No points that time. 
Advantage still green. Um, let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, this may surprise you, but in Europe, eggs are not refrigerated as they are here in America. They keep them dirty and on the outside is a protective layer that keeps them from being infected with salmonella. In our country, we wash off that protective layer, which means that water can then form on the outside of that egg through what process that will then let the bacteria in? Green belt. Yes, ma'am. Nicely done. Condensation it is. Go. Green. Zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points. Team Starbucks is named for Starbucks the mate who unsuccessfully tried to stop Captain Ahab from hunting this great white whale. Beluga. Green belt. Um, beluga. Beluga? Not beluga. Nope. Beluga. Dwight Eisenhower. Moby Dick. Moby Dick. That's exactly right. Yeah, Herman Melville's famous story. OK, Abdullah. Good answer. Go. OK. Um, Zoo Parade for 25. Zoo Parade for 25 is a big one in that category. Teams. Audubon was a famous painter of birds, but Audubon also had a book of paintings called the Viviparous Quadrupeds of North America, meaning that you could open up that book and you can see pictures of, give me one animal. Give me one animal you would see in that book, a Abdullah. Dog. A dog? A dog? Mm, judges? No. Nope. Uh, green belt, let's turn that light out there, please. May you repeat the question? Yes. In his book of paintings called The Viviparous Quadrupeds of North America, Audubon, the bird painter, also had pictures of animals. Give me one that would be in that book. Um, a lion? No, no, North America, North America. You would find a pronghorn antelope, you would find a bison, you would find a squirrel, you would find a bear, you would find a deer. Quadruped is four-legged. Vi viviparous means they uh, reproduce um, live young. No points. Go red. Okay. Um, body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, bicuspid is the name of two body parts. Give me one. A bicuspid is a tooth, and it's also a valve in your heart. Go again, red. Whoa, hold that thought. Buzzer says our first round is over. Let's check that score before we go to our first break. Eisenhower 55, green belt 90. We'll be back with the second round in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Science Bowl. Thanks for joining us today. This is our 31st year of Science Bowl here in the Prince George's County Public Schools, and we've seen many talented students come this way. We've got six of them with us today. Let's find out about each one of them and their schools. Let's go first to Dwight Eisenhower School up there in Laurel, Maryland. And Abdullah, would you tell us a little bit about your school? Who's your principal? Um, Mr. Mangrum. Mr. Mangrum out there rooting for you. And I know Ms. Pacciotti is here. She's been with Eisenhower a number of years. Melissa, thank you for all that you have done, all your support of this game here. And do you have any alternates on your team? Yeah, Mustafa Ali. And Mustafa will bring him out with Ms. Pacciotti in just a few moments here. Um, tell me about Eisenhower. Abdullah, uh, what do you like best about the school? Um, you can you go there and they make teaching fun. Um, sometimes we have we have lots of field trips there. Um, they might be a little costly, but it's worth it because um, it, you you learn stuff while you're having fun. Boy, that's a wonderful way to put it. You're very articulate. Yeah, you sometimes you have to break out of the classroom and go where it's actually happening. And here in the Washington area, you could go on a field trip every day and never exhaust all the possibilities. That, that's just great. Thanks for mentioning that. What do you want to do someday? Um, I want to be a software engineer. Yeah, and what do you do in your spare time? Play video games. Video games. <laughs> Sounds like a typical young guy to me. <laughs> Absolutely right. You're a good captain. You're playing a nice game here. Just get some more points, all right? Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. And Kevin, I, nice to see you back again here. Yeah. And uh, you're an old pro at this, so you got to help the new guy, right? Yeah. All right. Tell us about the, Give us the Kevin story. What do you do in your spare time? <laughs> uh, I play video games and I watch YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, well, where would we be without YouTube, you know? I mean, everything is on YouTube. If you want to fix something, turn on YouTube. Someone will tell you how to do it. Uh, what do you want to do someday? 
Uh, I want to either be an obstetrician gynecologist or I want to be a pediatrician. Yeah, how'd you get interested in those uh, fields of medicine? Oh, well, I like to help people, so I also like to help people, like, uh, be healthy. And so I, like, want to do something that especially deals with kids. Yeah, absolutely. Well, those are those are real noble ambitions, and I and stick to it. You got a lot of school ahead of you. All right. Yeah. So don't be uh, don't be dissuaded by the toughness. You'll you'll make a good doctor. And Emmy, nice to see you back again. Tell us about Emmy. What well, do you want to do? Well, when I grew up, I want to be a zoologist. Yeah, and why? Um, because like I was fascinated with animals ever since I was a child. Yeah. And I wanted to know like more secrets about them and how like they work. Yeah. Do you watch the Animal Planet a lot? Yeah. Yeah, and National Geo Wild. There's mm -hmm. some wonderful shows on there. And, you know, you just want to get out there and do what those folks are doing. Uh, what do you do in your spare time? Well, I do chores or I just go on YouTube. Yeah, and you told me you help wash the dishes, mm -hmm. right? What else do you do? I also iron the clothes and wow. help, help take up the trash. Wow. <laughs> there are some moms out there would like to rent you. Yeah, <laughs> you're a good player. Nice to have you back. Greenbelt, nice to have you guys here. Reigning Science Bowl champions, Greenbelt Middle School. It was all over the newspapers. You guys did a fantastic job last year. And Riley, you were on the University Park Elementary School yeah. team last year, so it's nice to have you here at Greenbelt. Tell us about your school. Who's your principal? Um, Mr. Covington. Mr. Covington. And I know he's a big supporter of you guys. He's behind you. And Miss Antoinette Glenn is your wonderful sponsor. Antoinette, thank you for all you've been doing for us over the years. You're uh, just a tremendous asset to this program. And Riley, any alternates on your team? Um, yes. Um, we had two that were here when we came in, but we had other ones that we practiced with. So the two that we came are Flavi and Daniel, Wonderful. unless I got their names wrong. That's all right. No, we'll bring them out in just a few moments <laughs> with Miss Glenn. Thanks very much. Best thing about Greenbelt, Riley? Um, so we have a big variety of after school programs with like the nerd after school programs like Science Bowl and then there's like math tutoring and then like other nerd stuff. Uh -huh. And then there's also like if you play an instrument you can do instrumental practice longer after school. Uh -huh. And then sometimes you can like work on like an arts project after school. So I find the after school things really That's cool. That's great. What are you calling them? Nerd things? Nerd. Nerd. Nerd yeah. things. All right. So this is the nerd bowl. Is that what you're saying, Riley? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, tell us about yourself. What do you want to do someday? Um, so I want to work for Pixar because I really like animation and whenever I watch an animated movie I see how much time and skill is put into it and they're really pretty. Absolutely. And it takes years to make those videos and uh, those uh, films and they're all worth it. They are all worth it. Yeah. God love Toy Story. Okay. Newsette, nice Toy to have Story. you with us today. Mm -hmm. Tell us about yourself. Um, what do well, you do in your spare time? I like to read and I play violin and piano. How long have you played those instruments? Uh, violin, I've been playing since fifth grade, but I skipped a year in between. And uh, I play. I don't really take lessons for piano, I just play by ear. Wow, that's wonderful. Just a musical nice. talent, you know, and uh, it takes a lot of discipline. I know how much you must practice. Yeah. And it's real nice to have you here today. Would you like to be a professional musician someday? Um, well, as like a second uh, backup plan. Yeah, absolutely. And, and music, uh, it kind of keeps you healthy and young, you know, it's been proven uh, with studies. No, and nice to have you with us today. You want to be an entertainer, you told me. Yeah. So entertain us. Are we going to pay for to see this guy sometime? <laughs> Listen. Um, Listen, you got a good outlook on life and you got to laugh. You got to laugh to get through this. How'd you want to, how'd you develop this interest? Um, I, I like watching um, YouTube videos, uh -huh. which, and I just ha kind of wanted to do the same thing that those people are trying sure. to do. Sure, and that's the thing. You, you see something and you'd like to, you're, you have an epiphany. It's like, wow, I could do that. I'd like to do that. So. Uh, stick to it. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a tough road, but, uh, but it, it's worth it. Let's get back to that game. Greenbelt 90, Eisenhower 55, lots of points to give away. And remember, talk to each other. Three heads are better than one. Don't just stand there and, and hope somebody gets it. Let's see some ferment here in the second half. All right, Abdullah, go. Dateline signs for five. Dateline signs for five points. Teams, there is now a move afoot to measure this precipitation, not at National Airport, but in D.C. and places like the White House lawn. No. Riley. Rain. Rain? Nope. 
Eisenhower. May I repeat the question? Yes, indeed. There is a move afoot now to measure this precipitation not at National Airport, but in D.C. at a place like the White House lawn. Snow. Snow, yeah, because the National Airport's in Virginia. And, you know, Washington, uh, that's not Virginia. So, yeah, we'd like to move it from the airport. Okay, go red. Um, green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, it is said that a rolling stone gathers none of this bryophytic plant. Moss. Green belt. Moss. Moss that normally grows on the north side of a tree, which is how you can find out where north is. Go green. Um, what do you guys want? Let's go for 20. You pick it. Um, science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams, uh, don't do this. Recently, a man drank five full energy drinks in one day and took in so much vitamin B3 that he developed an acute case of this H initial disease of the liver. Eisenhower. Um, hepatitis. That's exactly right. Hepatitis. That's what I want to hear. Thank you, Emmy, for your help. Go, Abdullah. Let's go. Body system for 15. Body system for 15 points. Team, there's a lot of controversy now about the EpiPen because people say it costs too much. That's a pen that contains epinephrine that you shoot into yourself if, like, if you're allergic to peanuts. Epinephrine is another name for what A initialed hormone produced by your body. Green belt. Antihistamine? Not antihistamine. Good try. What A initial hormone that is produced by your body is also known as epinephrine. Eisenhower? It's adrenaline. Adrenaline. Go again, red. Okay. Um, huh? Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, chemical element number 36 on the periodic table is also the name of Superman's home planet. Krypton. Green belt. Krypton. That's it. Good. Go green. Um. Ten, Come on, Riley. That's ten, your job. Ten. Um. To zoo parade for ten. Zoo parade for ten points. Teams in the Pixar movie Finding Dory. Dory relies on the echolocation of this B initialed white whale. Abdullah. Humpback. B initial oh, no. green belt. Beluga. Beluga, absolutely right. It is Bailey the beluga whale. Go green. Um, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points, teams. Interesting question. Red leaves in the fall, they're very pretty, but they also are practical. Scientists now think that that red color keeps the food that plants made during photosynthesis from breaking down so that it can still go down and be stored for the winter. What is that food made in photosynthesis that they did all summer long? Green belt. Glucose? Glucose, yes ma'am. Sugar, go. Um, let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25, the big one in that category. Teams first noticed in the 17th century these features in our solar system that everybody recognizes were most recently examined by the Voyager and the Cassini spacecrafts. Well-known feature in the solar system. Feature, not planet, feature. Green belt? Yes, ma'am. What you think? Asteroid? Not asteroid, good try. Dwight Eisenhower, this well-known feature in the solar system most recently examined by the Cassini and the Voyager spacecraft, first noticed in the 17th century. Stars. The rings around Saturn. Go again, green. Um, Dateline Science for 25. Dateline Science for 25 points. Teams, there is a new book out that talks about how we humans came to be the dominant creatures on this Earth. It is a one-word title. That one word is our species name. Homo sapien. Our species name. Oh, human. Oh my. Judges, we're gonna give oh, that mammal. to you? Yes, no, you, you gave it to us already. The judges says Homo sapiens. Sapiens is the species, oh. Homo is the genus. All right, red, go. Oh, what's we doing? Okay, science. Huh? 
Body systems for 25. Body systems 25, big one in that category. Teams at the Rio Olympics last summer, there was an Australian swimmer who was seen on television by a dermatologist who noticed a very strange mark on the swimmer's chest. He called the swimmer and determined that it was the worst kind of skin cancer. Name that worst kind of skin cancer that he saw on that swimmer. Eisenhower. What you got? Nothing? Green belt, what do you got? Um, repeat the question. This mark on the swimmer's chest at the Rio Olympics was seen by a dermatologist who contacted the swimmer and discovered that that swimmer had the worst form of skin cancer, which is what? Uh, Correct answer is melanoma. Uh, Go again, red. Okay. Huh? Green things for 25. Green things for 25 points. Teams, cactus and aloe are plants that are real juicy on the inside. There's a lot of water in there. What S initial term describes those plants? It is also a word to describe food that is really juicy and tasty. Succulent. Green belt. Succulent? Yeah. Say it again. Um, Succulent. Succulent? Succulent. Yes, yeah. indeed. Thank you, Noah, for making her clarify that. Succulents it is. Go green. Um, Dateline Science for 15. For 15 points, teams recently the testing of a North Korean nuclear device underground recorded 3.5 on this scale. Green belt. Um, pass to Noah. Noah. Rector. Scale. Rector or Richter, absolutely right. Normally used for detecting earthquakes, so literally they set off an earthquake with that nuclear device. So they couldn't hide it from the world. Green. Science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points. Teams, donkeys and horses have different numbers of chromosomes, but they can interbreed. They produce mules or hinnies, depending on who was the male and who was the female. No matter what, if you get a mule or a hinny, they themselves can't reproduce because they are what? Hybrids. They are what, Hybrid. Greenbelt? Hybrids. Mm, more information. Not quite, not quite. Eisenhower, that mule and that hinny, they are produced by crosses between donkeys and horses, but they themselves cannot reproduce because they are what? Crossbreeds. 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 Not crossbreeds. That's kind of what a hybrid is. They are sterile, sterile or infertile because they have odd numbers of chromosomes. That's kind of where we were headed. We wanted to give you those points, but we couldn't. 105 to 170, Greenbelt advantage yours. You can still do this, Eisenhower. Stay with me. Go, Riley. Um, let's get physical for 15. For 15 points. Teams, one day when we go to Mars, we may be able to survive because there is a lot of carbon dioxide in the Martian atmosphere. If we split that carbon dioxide, we will get one good gas and one poisonous gas. What are those two? Oxygen. 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 Green belt. Oxygen. Carbon. Oxygen and carbon. No. Dwight Eisenhower, you will get two gases if you split carbon dioxide. One of the gases is good and the other is poisonous. Carbon oxygen. What you got? Carbon, 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 monoxide, and oxygen. Yes, sir. Nicely done. Good comeback. Go, red. Okay. You can do a fist bump. Go ahead. <laughs> Go, red. Super eight for twenty. Super eight for twenty points. Teams, I need a specific answer. Don't just blurt out the first thing that comes into your mind. Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circuses are about to retire these particular pachyderms for good. Who are they going to retire, specifically? Like the name of the animal? Or the species. Um, tell me, what do you, what do you want to tell me? Um, Asian elephant. That's what I want to hear, oh. perfectly. <laughs> I didn't want to hear African elephants. Go, red. Okay. Mm. Nice job, Emmy. Ooh, the buzzer says we've run out of time. And just when we were approaching a tie score here, it looks like Greenbelt has done it. We'll double check that score and be right back with you. Don't go away.
Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed this game at home as much as we did here in the studio. They were almost the comeback kids. Let's look at that final tally today. It is Eisenhower 140, Greenbelt 170. Congratulations, Noah, Riley, and Nusa, and also Flavin and Daniel. Wave to everybody out there. And Miss Glenn, thank you. We will see you in the next run. Great team. Let's see some smiles over here. Ke Ev uh, Emmy and Kevin Abdullah, you played a good game here. You really came back at the end there. And Mustafa, nice to have you back with us again. Ms. Pacioni, always good to have Eisenhower with us. Thanks for all you do. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye now.